You know, if we look back not so far away, the last two rounds have uh, been much stronger. You know, we came away with a top six at Cadwell. You know, it's uh, the BMW S thousand R R is really early in development, and we're already in the in the top six. We're running super stock engines, so the next four rounds are exciting. More to come from the bike, and uh, I still haven't tested it, so uh, I'm excited to go back to where I believe I should be, um, and back to where everyone involved with me should be as well. Okay, super, and obviously. Uh you know, today we're going to supply you with a, a new DR suit, um, but you've been wearing a Frank Thomas DR suit, I should say. Um, but you've been wearing some stock suits for the last two rounds, Thruxton and Cadwell. Um, uh, have you found those products to be all right, or you know, where, yeah. where are we at with that? I've uh, I've been sport with suits really this year. Um, you know, it was my first year using the, the Frank Thomas DR suit, um, which originally was in the, the Bournemouth Kawasaki colours, and the suit looked phenomenal. I think we all agreed on that at the beginning of the year. Uh, felt phenomenal as well, and um, obviously we had to mix around with teams, and uh, there's a sensible time frame to get things done. So we used uh, the Frank Thomas uh, off the peg um, suit, you know, in a, in a standard, uh, I think I'm a size 40. If That's I'm right. correct. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 40 uh, with long arms is kind of <laughs> yeah, the suit for me. So um, yeah, the suit's been mint. You know, I've. When, when you give it, I googled it just to see uh, what sort of price range the suit was, and I know it's very, very, very affordable. Um, I've had no complaints. I've used uh, used it twice, crashed it, thrusting with it, held up fine. You know, no burns from sliding on the ground or anything. So, yeah, the main thing is, I actually think it looked quite nice. And uh, I thought it, I thought you looked very good in it. A lot of honest. people commented on the stealth mode thing, and uh, yeah, it's uh, you know, I guess uh, it was nice. Um, but I'm looking forward also to. You know uh, what you have for me today. And, okay, uh, well, we'll, to we'll save that for a surprise. <laughs> okay, um, we've we've posted some questions from some of our customers. Obviously, we we, we sent out a message saying that you guys are going to come and visit us today, with being so close to the circuit. Um, have you any advice for anybody that wants to start motorcycle racing? And you know, can you give any advice to anybody um, to help them? Yeah, I think um, everyone has different ambitions, but to start off, just make sure you enjoy it. You know, do, do it for you. Um, put everything into it. You know, for me, I kind of tried to live like I was a professional before I was, you know, so you're prepared. But if you put everything into it, if you put your training into it, you apply yourself right, sponsors and you know, people like yourself will see that and they want to get involved. And, you know, my journey, it doesn't feel long ago from I was racing a 125 in a, yeah. an Irish Championship. And, here you are here, and when you're here, you don't even feel like you're here because you want to you want to go further. That's right. um, but uh, yeah, I guess uh, on the safety equipment side, you know, wear the best of stuff, and uh, you know, I guess that's uh, where I'm spoiled with having JNS accessories on board. Thank you very much. And final question, Glenn. Uh, your overall ambition, I, I, I think I know before the answer is going to be, but your overall ambition as a motorcycle racer, where where would you like to end up? Um, that's probably quite different to most people, you know, in the short term I want to win the British Superbike Championship, um, but I would like to, I would love to go to World Superbikes, um, I'd love to be a World Superbike rider that is allowed to compete at the North West 200 and right. the Ironman TT, kind of like what Foggy done at the same time. Um, whether that would happen for contractual reasons, I, I, I don't know, but uh, if you could be doing what Peter Hickman's doing, um, only winning the British Superbike Championship, and. Uh, if you can get close to what he's doing around the TT and winning your Northwest and everything else, uh, you know it makes you different to you know every, yes. everybody else. Yeah, and you've got a full. I package. enjoy the roads being you yeah. know being from uh, from Northern Ireland and. Uh, that's kind of like a dream. I'd love to just be win. win not, I just want to win everything. Don't yeah, we? Oh, win, win, win in both disciplines, and you know we have done that before, but we need to add the British Superbike right Championship to that. Well, we look forward to seeing that, Glenn. And uh, obviously, you won the Northwest 200 this year, which was commendable. And uh, once again, thanks very much from everybody at JNS, and good to see you. Thank you. Thanks for having us on board. It's a pleasure.